As the world neared another grim milestone Tuesday of 2 million confirmed coronavirus cases, the International Monetary Fund sharing a bleak outlook. The world has been put in a great lockdown. Calling the pandemic a crisis like no other, the IMF projecting the world economy will suffer its worst year since the Great Depression of the 1930s. We are projecting global growth in 2020 to fall to minus 3%. This makes the Great Lockdown the worst recession since the Great Depression and far worse than the global financial crises. The IMF noting extreme uncertainty surrounding the outbreak, but says if the virus fades later this year, global growth could rebound by 5.8% in 2021. But under its best case scenario, the world is likely to lose $9 trillion in output over two years, greater than the GDP of Germany and Japan combined. As lockdown strain economic activity, the IMF says lifting those strict physical distancing measures prematurely is not the solution. They say those measures are essential to slow the spread of the virus and to help pave the way for an earlier and more robust comeback. One hard hit country is lifting just slightly some of those restrictions. Italy easing some restrictions Tuesday. But after five weeks under lockdown, most strict measures remain in place across the country, where more than 20,000 COVID-19 deaths have been confirmed. So what's changed? Italy now allowing bookstores, stationery stores, and shops selling baby clothes and supplies to open. That list of businesses may sound random, but officials explain that students need supplies, growing babies need clothes, and books, according to the country's culture minister, are an essential good. Not everyone agrees. Some local governments, especially in the hard-hit northern regions, are keeping those shops closed. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.